Fitzgerald. Woo! Thanks, guys. Blue creation. Thanks, Woo! Aaron's here. Woo! John DeFay's here. Woo! We just saw Chris Tomlin. Hey, we got two. Hey, we got two. Oh, boy. Pull them up, sing. Pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Okay, I want us to focus in right now on what Jesus had to say. Hey, guys. Listen carefully to the Word of God. Jesus said, You are the salt of the earth. But what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it useful again? It'll be thrown out, trampled underfoot, and worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a mountain, glowing in the night for all to see. Don't ever hide your light. Don't put it under a basket. Instead, put it on a stand for everyone to see. Jesus said that he was the light of the world. And then he turned to his disciples, people like you and me, and he said, you're the light of the world. He was passing the torch. He was saying, there's something inside of you that's birthed by my spirit that can only be defined as light. And when you walk in this world that is so often defined by darkness, there's a light that comes from you, almost like the day of Pentecost when the veil was taken away and they saw tongues of fire coming from the disciples. That indeed, you'll walk forth as a light in this world. If you turn around and look, you'll see just the beauty of this entire hillside lit up. And you can hold those candles high and you can see that we're a city set on a hill. Yes. Yes. Mickey says, why, Rocky? Oh, you gotta go the distance, you know. And Rocky looks at Mickey and he goes, hey, look, Mick, I gotta go the distance, because then I'll know I'm not a bum. You know what I mean? First John 4.10 puts it this way. It says this, listen. It says, no, no, no. What you do is not who you are. What has been done for you is who you are. That's why God can call screw-ups like us a new creation. The old is gone, the new is come. First John 4.10 puts it this way. He says, in this is love. Not that we love God, but that He loved us and gave His Son as a propitiation for our sins. I, I know I already lost half the crowd on the word propitiation. That's a big Bible word that means we were going to get spanked and so Jesus put his butt in the way. <laughs> but listen, listen, this is what this means. Who I am is not wrapped up in how good I can be for God. The reason I want to obey God isn't to be accepted by God, but it's because I already have been accepted and I just want to be grateful and be joyful and give my life back to him out of the gratitude of what he's done for me. Amen? I want you to know something. These guys, Jeff, Brendan, Jason, Ruben, Mike, we are not dudes in a band. We are children of God who just happen to play music. And so our identity is secure. Our identity is solid because it's what's been done for us that makes us who we are. And that means the reason we're on this stage tonight is not to impress you. It's not for you to go buy our CD and think we're the greatest band in the world. The reason we're on the stage is because we are amazed, blown away, that God himself would die for a bunch of sinners like us. There's no boyfriend, girlfriend, song, band, Starbucks, Frappuccino, Facebook, Twitter, no MySpace that I can throw in this Grand Canyon in my heart because my heart was made for more than this world can offer. Because my heart was made for you and I will not be satisfied with anything less than you alone, God.
Anybody believe this stuff? Yeah. Let's sing with me. Satisfy me, Lord. Oh, satisfy me, Lord. Oh, I'm begging you to help me see all I want. Chrissy, what's up?